Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Are you excited for another story? No, I know I am. So let's get started. Today I'm going to tell you stories from Surah Kahab, the story of Zulkarnain. Long ago there ruled a very kind king named Zulkarnain. Allah had given him a lot of might and power. He ruled a large land. He began his journey towards west and kept on traveling until he reached a land where he saw the sunset in the water. From there, he started traveling towards east and reached a land where he found people living in a village. These people spoke a language that Zulkarnan did not understand. They seemed really scared of something and wanted help. With a great difficulty, they explained Zulkarnan what their problem was. They told him that there were two nations called Yajuj Majuj who attacked them and killed their people, ate their food, drank their water and destroyed their homes. They wanted Zulkarnan to build a large wall between the two mountains so Yajuj and Majuj would not attack them. They also offered Zulkarnan gold and other jewels. Zulkarnan was a very just king. He did not want their jewels. He told them that Allah had blessed him a lot of goods and riches. He told them to help him melt metals so he could build a large and thick wall between the two mountains. These people helped him and after working really hard for a lot of days, they were finally able to build that wall. These people thanked Zulkarnan for his help. Zulkarnan went away. Till this day, Yajuj and Majuj are trapped behind that wall. Every day, they try to break this wall but are not able to do so. When the day of judgment will be near, with Allah's permission, they will be able to break this wall and come out. They will cause a lot of destruction. Finally, Allah will create a sickness in them and they all will die and the people will be free from their destruction. I hope you guys enjoyed the story about Zulkarnan and Yajuj and Majuj. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and your family. Fi amanillah.